Tanya, the government says a Thanksgiving meal for a typical family will cost almost $50 this year, and that's before inviting all those aunts, uncles, and cousins. But there are ways to keep those costs down without going hungry. Have a good day. Here at Lair's Prime Market in Milford, shopper Kurt Sellers is bracing for an expensive Thanksgiving. Uh, steaks and everything's gone up 30, 40 percent. Purchasing manager JT Holman says they're trying not to pass rising costs onto customers, even though turkey is up 20 cents a pound this year. I expected that part, but uh, 20 cents is a big jump. A pound? Yes, on my end. They're also seeing price hikes with canned veggies, dinner rolls, and even vanilla extract. And they're coping with shortages of cranberry sauce and small birds. Having trouble finding a small turkey, the folks here say, don't worry about it. Roast a larger one this year. You'd be amazed all the things you can do with the leftovers once the Thanksgiving dinner is done. And the best thing about turkey dinner is it can become 10 different things the next day. It can become breakfast, it can become casseroles, it can become fabulous sandwiches. Plus, a big turkey is cheaper per pound than a small one. Owner Allison Holman suggests you buy fresh, not canned, sweet potatoes. At 89 cents a pound, they're cheaper and healthier. That is affordable. and It can become a gratin. It can become a casserole. It can become mashed sweet potatoes. And to keep costs low, reduce the number of sides if you're cooking everything. Finally, reduce the number of guests unless they're bringing food with them. That's right. Get the guests to all mm -hmm. bring sides and then it's free. That makes uh, sense. <laughs> free? No. Well, managers at Lair's Prime Meat say if you want a fresh turkey, get your order in as soon as possible, just in case they run into shortages on those the next two weeks.